Hello everybody, back again with another video. Today, we are going to do a video for the beginners of Stratego. I am going to be teaching the players that don't know how to play Stratego. We're going to go piece by piece and say what each piece does. Let's start with the, sim the simplest piece, which is the flag. The flag is the objective is the main objective to get this is this means that the you you want to capture the other opponent's flag the flag is the weak, the weakest piece on the board it can be captured by any piece and, and it cannot move the flag is similar to a bomb but if a piece hits a bomb it suddenly dies. If a piece hits the flag, the opponent wins. Next, we're going to look at the three. The three can be captured by a four, a five, a six, a seven, an eight, a nine, or a ten. But it cannot be captured by a two or a spy. A three is the only piece on the board which can defuse a bomb. This means that it's the only piece when it when it attacks a bomb, it can destroy it and it goes away. The bomb goes away. Next, we're going to look at the scout. The scout is a very valuable and important piece. The job of the scout is to scout other pieces. That's why it can move unlimited amount of spaces. So let's say I'm here. I'm going to go into a ranked match here, or uh, into a, a match here against the computer, and I'll show you. A scout can move twice like that. It can move as many, as many rows as possible. It can go this way, it can go this way, that way, that way. Next. We're going to talk about the sergeant. Actually, we're not going to do that yet. The sergeant can capture any pieces below its number rank. So it can capture it can capture the spy, which I just had. It can capture the scout, and it can capture the miner. It can capture the spy, the two, and the three, and the flag. The sergeant can is a, is more of an invaluable piece and loses to almost every piece except for the twos and the threes and the spy. Next we have the lieutenant. The lieutenant is this piece here or this piece here. It does the same as the sergeant but it can beat the sergeant which is a four but it loses to a six, a seven, an eight, a nine, or a ten. But it beats a spy, a two, a three, and a four. So this is a pattern that's continuing. So it's going to be the same thing with the six, same thing with the seven, same thing with the eight, same thing with the nine, and same thing with the ten. The ten is the strongest piece on the board. This means that no other piece can capture it, except for the weakest piece on the board, which is the spy. The spy was right here, he captured it. The spy can capture the 10, but only if the spy attacks the 10 first. If the 10 attacks the spy, the 10 doesn't go away. You usually want to keep your spy with strong pieces and not on the front rows. So maybe with an 8 or a 9. An 8 is called a colonel, a 9 is called a general. So to review, the spy can only capture the 10 and nothing else. The scout can move any amount of pieces up, down, left, or right, but can but beats only the spy. The miner loses to all pieces rated above it, except for, or that, yeah. But, and it diffuses, it's the only piece that can defuse a bomb and the four the five the six the seven 
and the eighth all are not similar, but they all do the same job as they only lose to pieces that are rated higher than them. Nine, same thing as that, but one of the most important pieces, and the ten, which nothing can beat except for the spy attacking it. One more rule in Stratego is whenever, let's say I have a six right here, and his six comes here, and I attack his six, they both go off the board. So I'll try and show you this here. Okay, so my eight, eight, his seven. And, oh, there we go. He ties, he ties kernels. And they both go off the board. On this side, you can see which pieces you've captured. So I've captured the, the kernel, obviously, and the major, right there, and three scouts. He, on the other hand, has captured a colonel, a sergeant, and one scout, and the spy. So that's basically the beginner's rule to Stratego. In my next videos, I will show more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. That's all.